You can search high and low, you'll never find another one exactly like this. Every one of these was a custom one-off. Um, this was at one point a uh, like rolling executive house for uh, a NASCAR group. It's changed hands a few times along the way. It's built like a truck. It could use a little love, but overall, there's nothing stopping you from going out and having a good weekend here. Um, I think something about 40,000 miles. I've been up on the roof. Now you can, by the way, the slide awning cover, you can see flapping in the breeze. It's toast, she's done. We are listing this on consignment for some folks. We're gonna be selling it on their behalf. And uh, one of the things that we're uh, doing is getting them a quote on potentially replacing that slide awning. Um, before you get all excited, I would recommend just give our team here at Halo RV a call and see if we have, uh, or what, what became of that. Because this isn't something we own. Think of us like a real estate broker and this is a house. We're kind of at the mercy of what the homeowner is interested in doing. Now, um, they may end up just simply say, you know what? Just remove it and frankly that wouldn't be all bad there'd be nothing wrong with that uh, you know slide outs go down the road all the time without slide awning covers on them it'll be fine uh, the roof seems look great I don't see anywhere where this has really had a leak um, the rear corner that fiberglass cap this morning when the owner pulled it out bumped into a tree so we're gonna see what we can do about getting that patched up so you are going to see a little scar there uh, oh shoot, I don't remember this. It, this had something crazy, like some 20,000 pound tow capacity or whatever on it. So it is made for towing all kinds of stuff. Although this thing is long. You gotta remember when this was built, slide outs were not super, super common. So, uh, you know, having a shorter but triple slide coach, for instance, just wasn't a thing. So she did end up about 40, what, 40 some odd, 42 feet, whatever. Um, you see the vent right here. This does have a combo-matic washer dryer installed in it. Uh, full body paint too, and that's part of the reason that it really has held up. Now, uh, folks with good eyes, you're gonna see that the skin's a little wavy. It's not delaminated. This is a classic hung, Mindy boarded fiberglass skin, which you still see that process used today. It's a great process. It, uh, you know, it gives you the good look of something without the potential delamination scare going down the line. Now, it is not a fiberglass roof, it is a rubber roof. The roof really could use a cleaning. Um, you know, I do try to be straightforward and honest. That being said, I mean structurally, there's a lot of there's a lot of coach left here. The appliances seem to work good and everything. We'll take a look inside for you. I'm sure you could hear the generator running outside. This is a pusher, by the way. I probably should have mentioned that sooner. Now, we got all excited because when we started looking up the specs on this, the uh, original manufacturer specs we were still able to look up. They say four foot deep slide out and we're like whoa can't wait to see that well it's not it's a normal three foot deep slide out but what they did is they were measuring from the tip of this overhang on the floor right here on the step up style slide out so it's a normal three foot deep slide um everything in this looks pretty original though i do think the window treatments and some of the seating have been reupholstered because everything in this is blue then we get in the slide out and it's like scotch tape red there's nothing wrong with that it just kind of jumped out at me real quick everything in here has like generally speaking a blue and cream decor which i i think looks good there's always going to be that one person's like nope nope i'm not gonna buy blue um classic overhead uh, entertainment center which uh position like this would actually be illegal in a new rv produced today obviously old stuff gets grandfathered in new rvs the entertainment center cannot be visible by the driver in transit i'm sure you can figure out why um soft touch ceiling liner knocks down the noise keeps the rv a lot uh quieter in here now that is a marble floor once you get past your living room carpeting you've actually got marble tile flooring and the blue Corian, man, you just don't see a lot of that anymore. It jumps right at you. What's funny is this um, cabinet color styling, it's the sand color. It's actually something that has uh, come back into popularity in the business today. Uh, the hinges, you can see they're like full open hinges. They, they, I mean, you can really crank this sucker open. Now, you're going to see a couple leftovers here and there from previous owners. If you don't like them, throw them away, no big deal. Like a lot of motorhomes, we've got convection microwave oven uh, above the uh, you know uh, recessed stove top here. Now down here, you've got your combo-matic washer dryer, big uh, wire mesh pull-out pantry here. I love those things. Those are one of my favorite things, the way the storage comes to you. So sliding privacy door, you got your combo-matic washer dryer down here. Let me get inside. Ta-da, your old Splendids. I believe those come from Italy, if I am not mistaken. Um, they went with the combo matic, so this thing in the bathroom just has 
just a truckload of storage. I mean, you can really, really go nuts packing this sucker up, which is one of the nice things about it having such a high, like, uh, you know, payload and cargo type capacity. I like the automatic closet door lights too. And six dresser drawers below doesn't hurt. Now you, you see that uh, bag right there, that black bag. Uh, that's all like the owner's manuals and whatnot. So those have stuck with us uh, and, and withstood the test of time. And more bathroom storage. And you're going to see even more storage in the bedroom. I mean, you really get a lot of it in here. The big uh, extra large one-piece fiberglass corner shower. Very popular still in today's market. Massive skylight, too. Uh, big Max Air fan up top, too, to let uh, a lot of air in here. Now, normally... In the bathroom, you would have had another one of those funky angular mirrors, but at one point, apparently the uh, adhesives on the wall mount had failed, it fell and broke, and it's just gone. It's, that's just the way it is. Now, that's a one-piece molded sink and countertop, so it's not two pieces there. It's seamless and water cannot penetrate in there. Um, leaving the tile flooring, coming back into the master bedroom here, I really like how they set up this master suite. Again, tons of storage, all over the place in this thing. Another uh, hanging closet on the opposite side. And I like how that mirror is angled inward. It really helps reflect a lot of light internally. And a big bonus closet here in the bedroom because when is, you know, more storage ever the wrong answer? And it's never the wrong answer. The little corner vanity over here, I saw this and I saw the way that the lights are positioned and I, I just laughed. I went, all right, I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeVille, because it, it looks exactly like one of those little things where you're going to see a stage actor, you know, brushing their their face or doing their lines real quick and prepping themselves to to go out and attack a scene with all sorts of energy and passion. So this is a quick flyover of this thing. This is a very unique piece. You're going to have a lot of questions. I, I highly recommend you visit the dealership. You put your hands on it. You, you form your own uh, opinions. But at the very least, give our team here a call. Visit the link in the video description. Learn a little bit more. Um, you know, when this was new, to give you an idea, when this was new, we were seeing these run in the quarter million dollar range. Uh, and, and I don't know that we're, we're much more than 10% that now. So the folks are being very reasonable. And you have to remember, you don't look at this through the lens of today's motorhomes. You look at it through the lens of a 97 and you see how amazingly outstanding this was in its time. This is a pretty cool piece. Um, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.